Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make this debris after the explosion disappear gradually. Here is the example. Now as you can see, the debris are disappeared uh, gradually instead of just vanishing them. So the reason to make them disappear is because we can't afford to keep them indefinitely in the game because there will be many exploding objects and if we keep them that could be heavy on the processing power so that's why I wanted to make them uh, destroyed after some time. Alright. So let's see how to do that in this episode. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving. Right now at the moment when I shoot on this explosive barrels you can see the debris, the remains in the world like this it doesn't have a, actually they don't really disappear but we can't afford to like uh, have this debris indefinitely in the world because let's say if you have so many exploding items and if we keep them in the world it will affect the performance and also it can if there are larger debris it can like block some of the um, parts so do some block the character so can make affect the gameplay as well so therefore we need to get rid of them once they are exploded but if I just uh, destroy them it wouldn't look good because let me just do that and show you let's go to the explosive barrel and this is where it explodes and after explosion is done if I set like no maybe like right here let's set lifespan to like five seconds Now in 5 seconds this debris should vanish like that and as you can just see it is bad. So what I want to do is I want to make them gradually disappear. Right so for that let me open this material. So there is an option called Dither Temporal AA. and we can connect this to the if uh, first in order to use this i have to make this blend mode to masked and we get this opacity mask and for this object actually we don't have any transparent parts mask parts so we can just directly connect the opacity mask like this and now you can see the now we can already see through this subject let me promote this alpha threshold to a parameter and randomness also to a parameter so randomness is by default zero and alpha threshold is by default also zero if i make it one now it's fully non-transparent as I as I decrease the value it should become transparent yeah like this let me point five. right now it is partially transparent so and what this randomness does let's try one
right yeah that actually gives some randomness to the transparency if i set one here now let's see with randomness one does it look fully transparent non-transparent yeah okay so now let's apply this and uh, now let's open our explosive barrel blueprint here when we explode um, after the explosion is complete we need Uh, how should we do that let's me let me collapse this part into uh, a sub node I'll connect the folds as well so that we can make this look simpler right now this is for propagation It's better to do Yeah Now select only the things that should go inside that node Damage nearby objects right now here uh, uh, let's add a timeline let's call it fade to double click so let's set the float tag track and as the initial value I'll have one sorry time zero value one and let's add another value here time for value 0 right now in the event graph we can oh, let me give a name let's call it debris transparency or oh, no fair demo right now we can access the fade amount here so get the explosive object set material parameter set scalar parameter value one materials and as the parameter value we can use the fade amount and as the material parameter name we can use this help our threshold s right now let's check now you can see they are gradually disappeared instead of directly vanishing it let's try the other one as well It's much better okay so that's what I wanted to cover in this episode right and the project files will be available for the download link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club so thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye